来访，不亦乐乎。今天的客人是谁呢？瑞福乌纳，全球最大的中式快餐连锁品牌 Panda Express 的副总裁。一九七九年，瑞福来到美国求学，拥有 c a l p o l y Pomona 的 MBA 学位和南加州大学的工业与系统工程学士学位，并持有哈佛商学院谈判和竞争决策制定的证书。身为第一代移民，瑞菲姑娜无疑是许多人心目中美国梦成功的代表。拥有许多大型连锁餐饮业专业管理经验的她，自1995年进入到 Panda Express 至今，建立了供应链的组织，为 Panda 创造了达38亿美元的年收入。这样成功的专业管理人，到底有些什么管理的秘诀？又是怎么打理自己的精彩职涯与家庭生活呢？今天谁来做客，带您看见瑞菲姑娜的人生智慧。观众朋友，大家好，我是 Anne， 欢迎收看《谁来做客》。今天很开心邀请到 r i f 来我们节目当中做客。Welcome, r i f Thank you, Anne. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Good to be here. So, r i f when did you come to the States? I came here in 1979. Actually, I went to a Menlo College, which is in Menlo Park, right here.、Huh. Uh, yes.、Uh, so you I, used to be in the Bay Area. Yes, and after two years, I transferred to USC. Okay. So I came here as a student. Cool, cool. So、yeah. what was your first experience living here? Oh, it's pretty exciting, as you know.、Uh, uh, coming to the United States is uh, uh, really a privilege to me, and、uh, mm-hmm. uh, the learning and the freedom that the country has、uh, offered us.、Uh, Has been tremendous, so、uh, it's been very positive. Of course, you have to do uh, uh, adjustment. You have, you want to embrace the culture and learn、right. as you go. Was it hard to make adjustments? Oh, I would think it's a, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of both. It's、uh-huh. difficult, but it's also、uh, pretty pretty nice to have、uh, the opportunity to learn a new culture,、sure. learning new people, having new friends. Like, you、yeah. have a very open mind. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I try to. Thank that's、you. good. So,、yeah. when did you start to work for、uh, Panda Restaurant Group? Oh, I started in 1995.、Mm-hmm. Actually, I went there already in middle management.、Mm-hmm. I was、uh, in the managerial level, but I worked for Oscar Mayer Foods before, and for Carl's Jr. before there,、mm-hmm. and started with Panda Restaurant Group、uh, when they have a hundred restaurant. Wow!、Uh, right now we we have 2,100 restaurant. Wow! Yeah. Plus we're moving forward to international cool, arena. Cool. So very privileged.、Cool. Thank you. So how did you find that job? Is、oh. there like special story behind it? Um,、uh, not really. I was working for Carl's Jr.、Uh, mm. organization, and I worked for the、uh, purchasing and distribution department. And、mm-hmm. at that time, the leader of that uh, uh, group uh, was hired by Panda Restaurant Group. Okay. And so I just. Uh, I was asked to join them at that time.、Mm. So, was the company very different at that time and now? Oh yes, absolutely. At that time, as a a, a, a hundred store operation,、right. uh, it's uh, still big. <laughs> it, it's still huge, right? right?、Uh, but it's still pretty much at the infancy of uh, 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 Panda as as an organization. Right. So right now, it's uh, uh, pretty much uh,、um, well twenty times bigger, or maybe more. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we have uh, also uh, changed the way we do business.、Mm-hmm. We have to change as the business cycle progresses.、Right. We also have to lead differently. Right.、Yeah. So, what's your experience working with Panda Restaurant Group? Oh, it's been a very intense、uh, organization. <laughs> However, was it really challenging? It's challenging, <laughs> but it's very fulfilling.、Mm-hmm. And uh, the uh, the founders, Andrew and Peggy Chern.、Mm-hmm. Uh, They are、uh, great people because their、uh, their goal is really to inspire people to better、mm. their life、mm-hmm. and and really kind、mm-hmm. and they always want to make sure that people have the opportunity to live their fullest potential.、That's、so、wonderful. although it's a tough、uh, and sometimes intense uh, uh, mindset, a very high standard,、mm-hmm. but it's really fulfilling and you're part of an organization that help people around you. Yeah, you yeah. feel so good, right? You're <laughs>、yes, helping、uh, people do, yeah,、absolutely. do better.、Yes. So, but what's the most challenging part of that?、Uh, I think for me,、uh, just like in any organization,、mm-hmm. um, 
managing and dealing with people mm. uh, could be rewarding, but at the same time also challenging right. because people have different perspective, different mm -hmm. feel, mm -hmm. different emotional uh, mm -hmm. uh, feeling and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they look at things differently and then we have right. to make sure that we adjust accordingly right. as we, uh, as we uh, uh, working for the goals of the organization. Sure, so it yeah. doesn't matter like which position you were in, you still have to do and deal with this kind of stuff. Right? Yeah, actually, uh, mm -hmm. um, and it, uh, our some of our philosophy at the organization is, uh, is parallel to uh, uh, what we learn in the Bible, for example, right? Things like servant leadership, right. humility, mm -hmm. like uh, uplifting people, right? Uh, yes. Love, like patient and mm -hmm. kind. And, yes. uh, it's pretty much ingrained in, in our organization on a day-to-day basis. Yeah. Sounds like a perfect place to work yeah. for. <laughs> well, like anything, right? It's, right. It, this is my family and yeah. there's uh, ups and downs mm -hmm. um, and uh, you just have to, to mm -hmm. work with it and then give, your, give all you've got in, yeah. in the organization, for the organization. Sure, sure. Yeah. Is there any like stories you want to share that occur to you? Oh, stories, uh, mm -hmm. well, um, there's there's a lot of stories I I can maybe just pick one or two. <laughs> um, yeah, I I I would think when we started with Panda Restaurant Group uh, with a hundred stores, mm -hmm. um, when I, uh, uh, our requirement is we all have to work in the restaurant, mm. right? Whether you're in the corporate office really? or so. What did you do? Um, well, um, my my responsibility is purchasing and distribution mm -hmm. at that time. But we we work in the restaurant. We do everything from cutting vegetable, washing dishes, and cleaning the tables. Yeah, cleaning the table. The bathroom. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Wow. So when you do that, I I realized at that time mm -hmm. that uh, we done everything at the store. Like for example, our orange chicken. Right. We. Mm -hmm. We not only we cut, we marinate, we we fry everything in there. Wow. So it is like a, a mini factory behind the it store is. operation. So those those are something that uh, uh, very impactful to me. So part of my role in there is to mm -hmm. to make sure that we could move those uh, activities to. Uh, to a factory, so when yeah, it's yeah. really hard. You have to set up the rules, regulations, yes. so people can follow everywhere, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. So right mm -hmm. now we're we have everything pre-made, but not fully cooked. But everything was mm -hmm. uh, like the chicken, the, mm -hmm. uh, the sauces is all pre-made mm -hmm. in our business partners' okay. factories. Yeah. And when it goes to the store, it's it's pretty much uh, so it's easier, right? Yes. And then that way, the standard, the quality, the safety and everything could be uh, You can control, yes, yeah. absolutely. Right, yeah. wow, but that's a lot of work that you have to do beforehand. Yes, well, like anything, right? Uh, I right. mean, the preparation and the, mm -hmm. the insight of uh, what you're trying to achieve has to be done well. True, yeah. sounds like you have a very good experience working with Panda Restaurant Group. Well, yes, I'm, I'm very uh, grateful for the mm -hmm. opportunity. It's not always easy, right? Yeah. But anything that's, uh, that's good is not, easy sure, to achieve. Right? Sure. Yeah. But have you ever thinking about like changing jobs or any is there downtime? <laughs> there must be downtimes, yeah, right? Well, well yeah. I think for me it's like people leaders or people in general, they have uh, their uh, 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 their goals and objectives. So the question mm -hmm. for for us is more like you know, are you fulfilled in what you do, right? Mm. Do you want to do anything else? Do you have any regret? If, you, if you're in the stage of my life, you have mm. that question. Maybe when you start young, you don't have yeah. that yet, right? right? So for me, it's like, it's, it's, as long as you continue to contribute, mm -hmm. right? As long as you continue to, uh, to uh, uh, grow, right? right? It, it, it should be fine. But right. I'm sure everyone in any stage of their life, they have mm. the, the, that, uh, that's question in their business thinking, mm -hmm. I would say the steps in their career where they have to ask that question, right? Yeah. Yeah. So right. I think it's also depending on the goal and objectives that mm -hmm. you have, right? Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? So for me, I would like to continue to grow. I would like to pay it forward, right? Mm -hmm. There are so many people that helped me in the past, yeah. right, to, to get where I am. Mm -hmm. So it's my job too, that my commitment, mm -hmm. I also would like to do that. The organization, whatever organization, as long as I could do that, mm. that I, you know, it, 
I you will continue to yeah. be there, right, right and absolutely. work for them. Absolutely. So if for young people, then they found that they can continue to grow in that work, in that job setting. So will you recommend them to change jobs at that point? Well, I think, again, uh, and uh, the most important thing is you, you have to ask yourself, mm -hmm. is your activities contributing to your goals and objectives, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And also, um, we, uh, we also have to ask uh, ourselves, like for me, my principle is about mm -hmm. like, God has planned for you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, planned for you to, uh, to prosper, not to hurt you. Sure. To give you hope and future, mm. right? So sometime whatever happened to you may not be exactly what you want, yeah. but <laughs> it could help you to grow. True. It could help you in terms of the learning, right? So mm. um, if you don't have uh, any challenges and difficulties, you, I would think you you're not. Stop learning, yeah, right. You stop, stop learning, right? Stop growing. Right, so if right. you're, uh, if you're, hitting a brick wall, mm. then you figure things out and you become better. Mm. And, and for me, it's like humility is important. Mm. Yeah. When you have, uh, mm. uh, uh, and when you encounter some difficulties, yeah. uh, um, God will help you to, mm -hmm. to, uh, to put you in the right place and uh, right. have the humility <laughs> in, in, in your leadership uh, sure. uh, goal. Do you have any like personal experience that you want to share in that part? Like how God help you? Oh yeah, for for me, for me again, uh, mm -hmm. I'm I've been blessed uh, to be in the United States first of all, right? Uh, with the freedom, personal freedom, political freedom that we got. It's a privilege for all of us in here. Mm -hmm. So so for me, it's like I uh, became I became a, a, a Christian in 2006. Oh, okay. So before that, I was not a Christian, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. uh, so I think. So what's the difference? Before and after, actually, it's probably more difficult, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because it it said also that we right. uh, we as a Christian sometimes we have uh, uh, long suffering and stuff like that. So right. so, uh, but you have to stay with your values mm -hmm. right? and you, with your principle. Mm -hmm. So my my sharing is more that um, in in two thousand six uh, I became a Christian and uh, and uh, things are not. Uh, Things are not just flowing smoothly, mm. um, and we have uh, somebody in our family. My, my wife have uh, uh, some sickness that she's she's mm -hmm. okay right now, mm -hmm. but stuff like that, right? right? And it was so you just have to, yeah. yeah, you just have to stay with uh, your belief, mm -hmm. and you believe that uh, God is uh, God is preparing right. uh, your life, and mm -hmm. He has planned for you. Right, that's yeah. wonderful. Right. So I want to ask you, so what are your top three work values? Oh, my top three, <laughs> wow. Um, um, I would say number one is faith. Mm. And then I would say honesty and integrity. Mm. But if I could have the fourth one. Okay, it, no it, problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably respect for others, I think. Mm. And, uh, so as far as faith is concerned, I, I have shared with you. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And um, that is really critical mm. for, mm -hmm. for me personally. Uh, you operate based on a certain principle, and faith is mm. fundamentally uh, your fundamental basis of what mm -hmm. you do. Every do you day. have this before you were a Christian or after? Uh, probably. Um, mm -hmm. I went to a Christian school since uh, el uh, middle school, so mm -hmm. I do have. Uh, so uh, you always the think that. Yeah, but I did not accept. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus yes, Christ until right. that time, yeah. Mm -hmm. But also honesty and integrity is a critical part of uh, the value that you have to have in any organization. Right. Why, right. why are that? Well, it's really critical for, mm -hmm. for people to trust you and to believe in you, right? Uh, as mm -hmm. honesty, then uh, when you work for an organization, mm -hmm. you work there as if that's your own uh, organization, right? right? So you give uh, the best and you always look for the, uh, the, the good of the organization, whatever it is, right? Mm. Business organization, churches, political organization, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, or just anything. But it so must be really hard, especially if you are holding a really important position. Well, I, I think uh, uh, my, my thinking is more mm. and that you already been compensated, compensated uh, mm. rewarded for the role that you play. Right. right? So uh, from that perspective, mm -hmm. that is really the part that you get Right, and mm -hmm. then the rest is the job that they have to do. Right. That's from a honesty mm -hmm. perspective, from mm -hmm. a integrity perspective. You got to do what you say you 
you will do. Right? Mm -hmm. So those two is intertwined. Right. And it's really important for um, for any uh, leaders to make sure that they keep with those two values. At least for me, that's what I do. It's really important. Yeah. 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 And the fourth one? The fourth <laughs> one, um, uh, respect for others, is kind of in the line of like servant leadership, mm. right? So would like to help people. Like people have helped me in the past mm -hmm. um, uh, in terms of uh, helping me to get where I am. And when I started in my first job in Oscar Mari Foods, mm -hmm. I was an industrial engineer. I did not have any uh, network I did not have any experience mm -hmm. but people uh, reach out and embrace me and help right. me along the way so so yeah. respect for others include like mm -hmm. paying forward helping them mm -hmm. right also just be patient and be kind to to people right. you could be uh, uh, transparent and be uh, uh, tough in your standard yeah. but that doesn't mm -hmm. mean that uh, you cannot be respectful it is it, yeah. is it is so what are your like advice for the young people when they just started working? I think they just have to give it all you've got, mm -hmm. you know, and do the best and work hard and, mm -hmm. and just focus internally. Right? Mm. A lot of people uh, maybe... So not the external goals, just internally? Well, uh, your goals and objective mm -hmm. should be clear, mm -hmm. but when you're doing that, uh, you just focus on yourself. The only thing that you can control is you. Yes. Uh, your mindset, your yes. attitude, mm -hmm. your, your opinions and beliefs. Mm -hmm. So uh, outside uh, external forces like people, structure, mm -hmm. system, uh, you can't do anything about that. So you mm -hmm. focus, uh, focus on yourself. Yes, yeah. yes. Sounds like you are really devoted to your job. Uh, you well, I, I enjoy <laughs> it. Yeah. So how do you balance your work and life? Well, um, for, for me and um, there's a very fine line between uh, work and personal life. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. So it's almost blurred. Oh, okay. Right? So, uh, so I'm I'm very uh, lucky to uh, to have this type of position because again the question is like, are you fulfilled? If you're mm -hmm. fulfilled, if you continue to grow, mm -hmm. right? Not not just in terms of position, but in right. terms of your experience, in terms right. of your humility, in terms of how right. you uh, connect with the world, sure. right? So as long as you do that, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So my uh, work-life balance is uh, blurred, I would <laughs> say, right? If you have an extended project uh, uh -huh. that you do for a month uh -huh. somewhere else, yeah. maybe not in your corporate office, right? right? You just have to make do and just uh, make the best out of it. But I, uh -huh. I would say, uh, you know, you just have to work and mm -hmm. you enjoy it and make it personal and when mm -hmm. you're doing personal thing you also think about work <laughs> to, me, <laughs> to me it's like uh, so it, it's intertwine yes, yeah. yes wow yeah. so yeah. have your family like complain about it or what's <laughs> what are their thoughts about it well uh i think they understand that okay. to that uh, i try also to to right. have some mm -hmm. family time from time to time mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. i have uh, two grandkids and three, right. three that's grown wonderful. up uh, boys, That's so sons, wonderful. yeah, so we spend, uh, well, I make sure I make time for that too. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. It, it seems that you always make all the experience very positive and you're very grateful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, I you mean, know. You, yeah, you're really good. But a lot of people, when they face the challenges, they're really down and they don't know what to do. What what makes you so grateful and so happy and enjoy whatever you do? Well, I think that's just the perception. I, I also <laughs> have my uh, my challenges. It's not always easy. Yeah, you're, you're, I was thinking you, you definitely have down. a lot of really right. really challenges. Yes, stuff. absolutely. Yeah. Yes, no. Um, right. I, Can you share your experience no. and your tips how to help people to get over with it and be so grateful? I think and I made happy? I made mistake in my career as well, right? Mm -hmm. That uh, prevent me from probably progressing. However, if you just focus on yourself hmm. again, right, and not to worry about But the I think some force. people just focus too much on themselves, so they think like, oh no, why me? Oh, why am I oh, trapped I in this situation? It seems like everybody else is doing very good, just me not doing well. And I see what you're saying. Right. I, I would say that when you focus on yourself, in, on, uh, on uh, aspect of like, how do you improve yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, instead of blaming people, for example, and being mm -hmm. a victim, uh, you just so say like- It's so hard not to blame others. <laughs> yes, no, I know. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have that experience for sure, right? Mm -hmm. Where I blame people mm -hmm. and I, 
I said, well, because of this person, right? Mm -hmm. And they don't understand where I come from and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But it's not going to help you because right. you can't change anybody but yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So I do have a lot of uh, difficulties and challenges too. Uh -huh. Not always. Uh, yeah, I believe yeah. you must be yeah. Yeah. holding such an important position. You must face a lot of challenge every day. But it seems that you deal with all the challenges and all the hardships so well. Not, <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, not always. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, uh, it's also as you grow, mm -hmm. uh, you're in the uncharted, uh, uncharted territories. And sometimes you have to do trial and error. Mm -hmm. For example, we're going to international marketplace, yeah. right? We have 2,100 restaurant with mm -hmm. Panda Restaurant Group right. stores, and going internationally is uh, it's is still a new different. It's new frontier. Every country is different. Mm -hmm. So from the uh, procurement perspective, logistics, mm -hmm. we really have to uh, to uh, do pr trial and error, yeah. and it's uh, we we don't always succeed, and many times we failed. So how do you face the failure? How oh, do you deal with it? <laughs> with great difficulties. With, uh, <laughs> of course, you're frustrated when you have right. a situation like that. Right. Uh, you just have to reflect back and work with a lot of people. We have mm -hmm. uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, people at Panda also that help each other. So mm -hmm. we're not alone. And mm -hmm. again, the, the, the... You mean your colleagues? Yes, we have colleagues. Okay. We have uh, people in there uh, from different departments mm -hmm. to that. We all... Uh, a solid team. We all want to help each other mm -hmm. succeed, and and the founders are very, uh, very very supportive of yeah. uh, of uh, us mm -hmm. going going uh, uh, to bigger and better things and uh, facing new frontier and right. just trying new things. So mm -hmm. so. I think at your position, it's really important. How do you create the work atmosphere for everybody, right? How do you work with it? And how do you create such a supporting environment for everybody? Yeah, well, with <laughs> I don't always do that. That's really my intention is mm -hmm. really to, to make sure that this we This is really have hard. Everybody's different. How oh, do you... Absolutely. Right? I, you know, we would like to have an uplifting environment. And again, mm -hmm. our focus is inspiring people to better their life. Mm. So when we have a mistake, when we do any, uh, any mis uh, if we are in a misalignment with people, right, uh, mm. you just correct it back again. Uh, and the focus is inspiring people right. to better their life. So we want to uplift people. Mm -hmm. We want to be a servant leader. Right. right. So when there's some mistake, it's not focusing on the mistake but mm -hmm. focusing on uplifting people. How do you do that? It's kind of tricky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I have to eat. Um, in doing that, uh, mm -hmm. if I'm frustrated, I go to the restaurant and eat some orange <laughs> chicken, and I feel better <laughs> right away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you definitely love your stuff. <laughs> well, you have to believe in what you do. Yeah, right? definitely, definitely. Yeah. So when you focus on how to uplifting the people, they usually feel treasured, so they want to work a little bit better, right? Uh, absolutely. It's mm -hmm. not always easy, though, no, Anne. I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. it's conflicting with what you really feel, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you're right. Uh, frustrated, or when you made a, when your team make a mistake, or even if I make the mm -hmm. mistake myself, mm -hmm. uh, it's the uh, you have a feeling about like your frustration and maybe uh, negative yeah, uh, energy coming out. Definitely. You just have to be aware. And the of mistake that. is still there. So yeah. how do you do with that? Yes. Well. Right. Well, the the whole uh, mm -hmm. uh, leadership team at Panda is uh, mm -hmm. supportive, and mm -hmm. we uh, we are making an effort basically to mm -hmm. to make sure that we could make mistake. Right. Yeah. If we do make mistake, we just yeah. change our right. approach and. Right. Uh, improve it. Right. It sounds like a perfect place to work. <laughs> 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 I think you're a very successful example for all the immigrants because you moved here at, for the college, you yeah. were not born here, so yeah. you were not as familiar with the culture and everything here, but you were a very successful example of the new immigrants. So do you have any do you want to share a little bit like and how the new immigrants can do better and fit in with this society a little bit Okay, better? yeah. Well, first of all, uh, mm -hmm. it's a privilege for all of us to be able to uh, live in the, this great country, the mm -hmm. United States of America, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a privilege. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, uh, for me, it, it is not given, it's mm -hmm. earned. 
whatever it is that you want, you could do whatever you want in the in the United States of America within the legal boundaries of definitely, the law. Definitely, right? definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Not anything yeah. unethical or sure. Uh, uh, That's for sure. Yeah. Things like that, but. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, you could do anything you want, and then you, if you earn it, you could, you could keep it. So mm -hmm. to me, just give it all you've got, mm -hmm. uh, do your best, and uh, again, embrace the culture, embrace the, uh, the, the country, and whatever it is that you have in here. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that you change you, you still who you are, yes. uh, your culture from the old country, if you will, yes. your, uh, your habit, your belief, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to change that. You, you, you merge them with what you learn from in the United States, mm -hmm. and you, you come up with a value creation for yourself to be yes. successful here. Yes. That, that's really great advice. Thank you so much for coming, Riff. Thank you very much, and appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. 谢谢你。也谢谢观众朋友们今天的收看，有朋来访不亦乐乎。我们下期节目再见。